Now, I quickly just want to dish out my predictions on what's going to happen here. I kind of think that Bakugo will win because Bakugo, we've been giving him more character development and he has more characteristics that we can relate to. And in such way, I believe Bakugo will, um, he's kind of, he's sort of the underdog, but at the same time, not the underdog because of the power he's displayed throughout the tournament. And he actually shows like pure emotion or Todoroki, he's been kind of um, silent and he's kind of been a blank wall until like last episode. We didn't really, well, not, I think it was two episodes ago, actually, when we had Todoroki versus Midoriya, which we actually got to see some emotion, some kind of background of Todoroki. But it's not enough. We don't see, like, how Bakugo has been fighting, trying to be the best, proving himself. Like, Bakugo, his personality won't let him lose. While Todoroki, he's more... He wants to win as well, but he doesn't have that will as strong as what uh, Bakugo has. Anyway, let's continue. This opening is so dope. Gets me every fucking time. Best opening. See, now we're starting to like get some actually kind of emotion, some kind of background to him, which we didn't get to see before. Like, really. Bakugo has some kind of grudge against Midoriya, and I'm assuming it's because he's kind of like jealous in some kind of way. I hope they make this whole battle just this episode, to be honest. Maybe I've added a bit of like some background stuff, but I want this battle to actually be fully developed. <laughs> Bakugo like sounds like a fucking monster, a savage, about to rip apart that guy. Ooh. Ooh. Bakugo making moves right now. This is gonna be a dope fight. I can already fucking tell. What Todoroki doesn't understand is Bakugo won't stop. And Bakugo probably maybe isn't Deku level, but he's close. He's gonna end up using his fire, you can tell. Oh, he won't. I don't really have a preference who on who wins in this fight, to be honest. Though Todoroki is like pretty much my favorite character, I wouldn't be that mad if Bakugo won. Oh shit. Ooh. There's no winner yet, mate. It's completely obvious that's the case. Wait, he's on the ground? Are you serious? Oh, that's terrible. Why did he do that? Like, I, I kind of understand conflicting feelings. That was a really cheap win. At least they're gonna give us more on background of what happened to Ida's brother, though. Probably because they don't want to show like like the actual com the conflict between those two. Because if you kind of bring a winner out of those two, it kind of demeans a that other character a bit to that point. <laughs> I agree completely. This man looks like he wants to rip somebody's head off. Yeah, yeah, at least I'll give more, like, information about that. Because I want to know more about that villain. And, like, what's going to happen. Oh. I'm, I'm sad, not because Bakugo won. But it's because there wasn't, like, a true fight. He doesn't give a shit about the medal or you, to be honest. <laughs> What the fuck is this Chinese version of Will I Am doing? <laughs> okay, I kind of want more development on the other on the other things that are happening in this series. Because if they were gonna cut the, sh the battle short, I would like to know more about kind of basically what's happening. Really sad. Like, can you imagine if like one of your your like family members was in this kind of a situation? Well, that's that's crazy. Is he gonna die? I might actually cry, dude. That's his mom. This episode is very emotional. 
It's very story driven, and I actually like that. Like, a lot of the times, some anime can be too much combat, but I really don't mind them now that they cut that battle short to give us more information and allow us to explore more of this world with all these characters. Like, his mom is the key to unlock himself so he can stop feeling all this pressure, all this darkness in his heart that, so that he can't use the fire. Like, it's symbolism, in a way. Damn, I don't want to make a joke, but she looks fine, boy. She looks fine. God damn. <laughs> I'm assuming not actually escaping, but like help her free from the mantles which um, his dad kept her in. Yo, this was, this felt like a very like fast episode. Like, so, like it, it felt so short. There was so much information that they gave us. But at the same time, it felt so little. Like, I don't know. It went by in a fucking flash. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Write in the comment section down below what you guys think about this episode. This episode was very good. I really liked it. It enlightened us a lot about the story and how Todoroki is feeling. We're still learning about Todoroki as a person, which um, I didn't really expect. I thought that um, the Todoroki versus Midoriya battle was going to be like the kind of the foundation of what we will know about Todoroki but it would take a while later that we that the anime actually develops him as a character and we learn more and his passage so we can clearly tell that he the way in which he's um redeeming himself redemption is through um helping his mom and his mom is the key basically to unlock his heart and allow him to use his power without him feeling guilty of his dad and what his dad has done so yeah, um, if you guys didn't like this video, please dislike the video and tell me why in the comment section down below because I want to make content that I'm proud of and that you guys like as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video and...